In this tutorial, we will see the elements of the StreamSets data collector user interface. After you install StreamSets, you can start the data collector by going to the bin directory and typing StreamSets space DC. Once the software starts up, open up a web browser and go to localhost port 18630. Log in here with the default username and password, admin admin. The first screen that you see lets you either create a new pipeline, import an existing one, or just open previously created pipelines. Let's go ahead and create a new pipeline. We'll name this one log data. Leave the description blank and go ahead and hit enter. The data collector console allows you to configure and monitor a pipeline, preview data, and review data snapshots. The central part of the console contains the canvas. This is where you create and review your pipeline. The lower half of the screen has the properties panel where you can configure either the entire pipeline or individual stages. This is also the panel that lets you see data previews, see the metrics as the data flows through the pipeline, or examine errors if there are any. On the right hand side is the stages panel. Stages are individual units that let you either import, export, or transform the data that flows through them. The origin stages let you configure where you import data from, Origins range from reading files of a directory or an Amazon S3 bucket, reading data from the Hadoop file system, relational databases using JDBC, Kafka, or a number of other sources. The processor stages are used to transform the data. Without writing a single line of code, you can transform the data to fit your needs. For example, you can use the field splitter to split a field into one or more individual fields, or you can use the field hasher to mask fields. Out of the box, there are a large number of other processor stages that can be used to very easily work with the data flowing through the pipeline. If you'd like to write your own code, you can use the JavaScript evaluator to write custom code in JS, or the Jython evaluator to write code in Python. And if you're looking to build more complex stages yourself, you can do so using our Java SDK and write code in Java or any other language that runs on the JVM. And finally, the destination stages are used to export data out of the pipeline to a number of destinations. For example, you can send data to Cassandra, Flume, Hadoop, HBase, Kafka, and many other locations. Once a pipeline has been created, you can use the options at the top part of the screen to verify the configuration of a pipeline, do a quick preview of the data, create a snapshot that captures an intermediate state of the pipeline, and of course, run the pipeline. 